Today we're going to look at how we can use Power Automate to track different things within our CRM system, such as credit limit approvals or other workflows. Let's get started. Within Office, one of the apps that's available to us is Power Automate. So let's jump into Power Automate and take a look at what it is. So Power Automate allows us to take um, things from one system and either create an approval or push data to a different system. It could be, be cloud-based, so there are some templates that are available to us. So for example, um, if we're looking at D365 um, or it's called the Dataverse, um, the Dataverse is actually the connector we want. So there's all these different services or connectors that are available to us. Um, we have these, so for example, if there's something posted to SharePoint, we could um, send an approval email when a new item is added. That would be an example of a um, template that is available or someone tweets a certain hashtag and an entry to a database. So these are all things we can do with Power, Power Automate, but this is more geared towards how as a accounts payable person, we could use Power Automate to facilitate uh, the approval process. So let's get started with showing how we go about doing that. So a particular user will see um, approvals within this action items section and will get notifications depending on setup. So I can see approvals I've sent or received or history of those approvals uh, directly within this section. To create a new uh, flow, we'll hit the create button. And we're going to this flow will be triggered by the creation of a new record. So we can use this as a template to give it a name. So let's credit approval. And our trigger. So uh, common, common data service is the trigger we want to use. So when a new record is created or updated, as you can see, there's different triggers here deleted. So we'll, we'll select uh, when a new record is created, hit create. So it wants us to select our environment, uh, could be current environment. We'll just choose that because it's the environment we're connected into. Then we select our entity. Um, so in this particular case, we're working with our account uh, entity or table and the associated uh, fields. Uh, credit uh, limit field. So we're going to select accounts and our scope um, is going to be the entire organization. So that is what our trigger is uh, for this step. Next thing we want to do is select a new step. And we'll, what do we want to do? Well, we want to actually um, do an approval operation. So we we'll select approvals. And we'll create an approval um, step. We can start and wait for that approval and then fire off another step or just um, or wait for an approval. So in this particular case, start and wait for an approval. And then we would pass the record back into CRM. So let's select that. What is the approval type? It could be uh, approve and reject first response we could have multiple approvers um, wait for all responses wait for one's response so we're just going to do first person to approve or respond give it a title who do we want to assign this to uh, so we can add dynamic content in our case we're going to assign this to uh, Dan. And details, we can actually use Markdown. So um, we can do something like uh, credit approval. And then we can add dynamic content. So we could add the account name in here.
and then add credit limit. You could also link to the particular record. Um, you know, it could have the requester email address, enable notifications, attachments, so a lot of different options within the approval step. We would then save our approval uh, and we can start testing that approval uh, in a second here. Next thing we want to add um, is a, another step in here. Um, so when a response um, is received, so be it approved or rejected, want to so get a basically apply get the responses and then use those steps so if it's our control would be if it's yes um, or if the sorry response value So response is prover response is what we want to select is equal to approved. If it's yes, then do these steps. And this can be anything, send an email, whatever. So we can just add an action in here. It could be anything. Uh, send an email notification or update a record. And we would then uh, put in a value here so I could send it to a particular person, you know, from the email, put a subject line at body. Once we're okay with this, we would then save uh, this particular record. I'm just gonna get rid of uh, this particular email uh, step in here, we'll just leave this as, as is. So we could then save this and test um, this particular approval. So once we've created our approval, uh, we can go back to uh, D365 here, create a new account record. And then we would uh, populate the credit limit amount. In our case, um, with the credit limit amount, I would then save and close this. If I now jump back into Power Automate, we can actually look at this particular um, record. Here's a run, so it's running. Um, it fired off our trigger, which was the creation of a new record. We can actually drill into this and actually see uh, what the approval step is. So it's record is created, it's now uh, started and waiting for the approval uh, to fire off the next uh, part of the step. So to learn more about approvals and working with Power Automate, please contact us at Profit by visiting us at www.profit.ca. Thank you.